Hey guys. Hey guys, I'm sorry it took me a few minutes. I had to handle a situation on a couple of reported posts, so I do apologize. Thank you for bearing with me. Let me play the intro and we're going to go ahead and get started. Yes, we are. If you look down below, you'll see that we have the bag. I am still working on some other things. I don't have um, that completed yet. I have so many irons in the fire, but my new mods are a blessing. They're allowing me to get some things done and get caught up. So I was up till 4 a.m., guys, 4 a.m., uh, getting projects together for today. So... Uh, we are going to have an iron-on fest and unbox this little mini. I got it a couple days ago, but I knew I needed uh, some projects for today, and I thought today would be a great day to do iron-on with the little thing on different odd shapes or different types of projects. Not really odd shapes, but uh, like plushies and koozies and, and the small things, signs with the lip like you see here. Um, where I, we couldn't get our other presses in there. Not even my iron would fit in here. And I've had this sign for about a year. I got it off clearance, I think at, I don't know, Hobby Lobby or Michael's or somewhere for a buck. And I've wanted to use it and I couldn't get anything in there. And I really didn't want to paint it on the, with a stencil because it sometimes gets crowded. Um, and if you don't get it trimmed down just enough to fit in there, uh, or get it too close, then your stencil wants to buckle up. So I wanted to do iron-on on it. And so now I can. So we're going to do that. And I see Sue dancing this morning already. Patty's here. Ooh, you got five cups turning. Good job, Patty. But again, I do apologize for being a couple minutes late today. Uh, but I needed to handle that. Uh, let's see. What do we want to start with? Um, I was going to do a pair of shoes, but I didn't want to go buy a pair of shoes that um, I didn't have anybody to give it to. So I was going to make some and give them to Jamie for her um, grandbaby. And I went to four stores and they had no shoes. So I will do a tutorial or we'll do something with shoes later, but I have to, I will do a recorded video of those and uh, so that you can see how to do shoes, but I just couldn't find the right size and I did, I was short on time, so I couldn't go to the store I needed to go to where I know I can find them. So um, I will get those, but first let's unbox this little cutie. Does anybody have any design space questions or issues or anything that you're having a problem with? Don't forget, ask those questions because we will uh, cover them today. I'm trying to figure out how to get in. Ah, there we go. Uh, we will cover any questions that you have while we're playing today because today we're playing. There are no files today. However, to, not tomorrow. See, I'm losing a day already. Monday, I am going to have two exclusive files for patron and Kofi supporters, but you can also learn to make your own um, if you join me. There's tape there too. Tomorrow, 7 p.m. There we go. Oh, got one over here. So it's the two sides and the bottom. I don't know why I'm trying to open that from the top. Drum roll. And guys, you can use this with infusible ink. Did everybody see that? Um, yeah, it's tempting. I know some of you have yours. Some of you don't. Um, 
but uh, I'm kind of, I didn't cut all the way through. See, I'm just kind of teasing you guys a little bit. Did everybody see that the Easy Press Guide was updated to include the mini? Everybody does know that. Let's go over and make sure that you guys can see that. Let me zoom in a window. There we go. Easy Press Guide right there. Our little mini. And we're going to be using that today. So um, you'll see me refer back and forth. I am using some Cricut product. I am using some Caesar product. I am using some patterned so that you guys can learn how to use pattern when you need transfer mask when you don't. Things like that. So we're going to cover all of that today. I've already cut everything and weeded. I am going on the assumption that all of you guys have cut and weeded iron on. If you haven't, I do have two really short videos. I think they're like seven minutes or less um, on weeding and on cutting. So two separate videos and I can refer you to those should you need them. So let's go back over to the overhead cam and open it up. Ta-da! Look how cute, how little it is. You have your base. And you have your little bitty mini. So cute. And you've got your let's get started, your settings, things like that on here. Which is pretty easy. You just have the low, medium, high, and off setting. And it indicates warming up and when its temperature is reached. And then your FCC statement is also in there. How cute is that? And I'm going to pull. I am going to be using my 12 by 12 mat today. And I will tell you why. Even though this is little. And I could probably get by. <clears throat> Well, I could find it now. Oh my goodness. I think my puppy ran off with it. Anyway, my little bitty baby mat that I had, I did something really, 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 really well, not really stupid, but I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. And I was using some of the, I don't know if you guys know what the ThermoWeb hem tape is. I had torn it off and put it on my fabric that I was going to iron with my Easy Press and folded my hem over. But I had a straggler piece. And it was on the back of my fabric, and I didn't know it, and it ended up across my mat. So, I thought I would use VLR to take it off. And I have a big, wide strip where whatever this special coating is on this mat that wicks moisture, it's white it took every bit of this coating off of it. So whatever you do, if you get iron on or whatever on your mat and it sticks, find another way because VLR will eat the finish off. So I have to order a new small mat. And I had it laying right here so I could show it to you guys. But I think my puppy thought it was a toy and it is gone. I mean, I had it laying right behind me so I could show it to you guys. Yes, so don't use VLR on this. Whatever coating that they have sprayed on this fabric for the moisture wicking, the VLR will eat it off. I mean, eat it off. You can, there's part of it on my scraper right there. I got the rest of it wiped off. I couldn't get this off. And VLR will eat your scraper too. 
which I didn't know when I showed you guys removal last week, but it wasn't noticeable last week. So don't use your scraper. Use a use a metal use your metal tool on it. So just a couple of things there. You want to remove your plastic, of course. I'll put that with the box. He is so cute. Well, I'm not going to fight that. Don't cut your cord. And we're going to plug this little gem in. I don't really need the mat for that on this. But I might need a strip of a Teflon sheet. And I have a piece that has, I got epoxy or something on this. And for a sign, this is the one I'm going to use. I have, for my fabric, I use my Cricut one. But uh, this one's got something. I don't know if it was epoxy or something on it. But I can use it for signs. And I am just going to trim a piece down. It doesn't matter if it's straight or not. Just something to cover the side with. So, I am going to press my on button, and you can see each press on, off, low, medium, and let's see what we're working with. Here, I am working with, I don't know if you guys have ever used it, this is Caesar, pull my pieces apart, this is Caesar Reflective. So if you're a jogger or a runner, you walk at night, you walk your dogs at night, you want to put this on dog collars, your tennis shoes, if you're a biker, great product because it reflects when lights hit it. Um, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but we'll see, especially during the day. But it is a very good product. It's a good safety product. can use it for tons of stuff. Your kids' clothes. All sorts of stuff. So we're going to be working with that. And then this is just regular Caesar Easy Weed. And it is in the pale purple. And then this is Glow in the Dark. It looks like white. So if you ever get it mixed up with your white Easy Weed, you can... I'm going to put it on high. You can uh, put it under a light and it will glow. So, those are the two we're going to be using on this sign. And it is wood. And all I did was use a black acrylic. I used the Liquitex acrylic on this. So, I am going to select my transfer material. And I am just going to... I am going to do this on metallic light. My base material is wood. And it's going to, I'm going to use my easy press mat and apply. And it says 300 for 40 seconds firm pressure. Uh, oh, I'm on my easy press too, not my mini. Let me select my mini and start that over. And wood. There's wood. Apply medium for 40 seconds. So I'm going to take that to medium and let that cool down while I position. And I think that's where I want that. And then I'm going to put my little piece over it. And I'll just flip this around. I know it wasn't even. It didn't cut all the way through the first time. I just need it to cover my iron-on. So, on different types of iron-on. And you can see that this is only four inches, so nothing would fit in here. My iron wouldn't fit in here. Um, the base of it was just too wide. The top was fine, but the base was too wide, so I couldn't get it to sit flat. And then um, I had 
what did I try? I tried the, um, I actually even tried using a heat gun to see if I could get it to stick. That didn't work either, so don't try that at home. Yes, it is Caesar. I get it from Brilliant Vinyl. Uh, I know everybody has their favorite place to order, so whatever you want to, to do. But they do have this at both of these. All of these came from Brilliant Vinyl. In case anybody wants that link. So all I'm going to do, and I know it's red, but it's already heated up to the top. I am just going to start, and I am going to press for about 10 to 15 seconds. Yeah, I knew it would heat up pretty quick. It was pretty fast. It actually cooled down pretty fast because I heated it all the way up. So I'm just going to go over it. And you want to avoid the ironing motion, but on wood, wood is a little bit different. So you just want to make sure that you're heating for 10 to 15 seconds, and then you can pull it up and check it. And it's starting to stick. I have a little edge right there. So I'm going to move back over here. So you can work in sections at a time. So I'm going to work on this one and heat it for a few more seconds. And then while that cools down, because you want to let it cool down before you start to peel. As you can see. Because your wood needs to heat up too. So you just want to make sure that you get all of it heated. And with one this big, it can be a little bit time consuming, but it's worth it. Because first of all, I, I didn't want to spend the money on buying a expensive reflective paint that I'm not going to use that much. And paint can't be used on everything. If I buy a sheet of iron on, I can use it on clothing as well. So that was why I wanted to use the iron on for my sign. Because where I live, um, when trick-or-treaters, they drive the trick-or-treaters around now. And when they pull them in, their lights hit the front of my house when they turn the corner. So I thought this would be a really cool sign for that. And then when there were no lights, my glow in the dark would be lit up. But I'm just gently heating the whole thing all the way through. And actually with the sign, you really don't even need a Teflon sheet. You should be good. The way you can, you can see that it's starting to crinkle my carrier. But yeah, it's sticking. So I'm just gonna keep, keep heating. Hi, Liz. Oh, you didn't know that you could iron on wood, Sue? Yes, we can. You can do iron on on wood. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Now, a little bit of crinkling on your carrier sheet is fine, but if it's kind of whoosh, drawing up, you are definitely too hot. So, if you're using a home iron instead of an easy press, or your easy press is set to a different temp. That's way too hot. A little bit of warping is okay, but if it's crinkling up on you and drawing up, you're way too hot, and it's gonna move your iron-on around. So let's see if that's enough to peel. And you just wanna peel very slowly. And if you have any places that aren't sticking, don't worry. I have like a little bubble that's like, this wood is not smooth and that will happen, but I'm gonna sh we're just gonna go back over it and it's still warm. So if you have those little places and I'll get close on the camera and show you the top of that R where I rubbed it, it just sucked right into it because it's still warm and the adhesive is still hot. Right there too. But the rough places in the wood, it's going to look like you're, it's not stuck. But it, and it isn't because it's, you have to push it down in there is what I'm trying to say. You have to push that into those wrinkles while it's still warm. Or it's just going to sit right there on the top with that little knot or divot underneath it. 
you can see it didn't take a whole lot or a really long time and I've got one little place where it didn't stick right there right there so we're just going to reheat that just for a second and now it's in there now let me pull that up but you can see a couple of little bubbles or it looks like a bubble but those are actually where it's following into the wood okay but when I pull the carrier back it kind of lifts that until I pushed it back down in there while it was still warm so make sure that you do that and it will stay on that wood I've had some on for a year two years now on a couple of signs and it's worked perfectly fine it hasn't budged hasn't come off so now we're going to do our moon and I'm going to press that in some sections because my moon is bigger than my mini Yeah, it's great, and it's a, it's a little tricky. It doesn't, the general, I have found the general rule of thumb on instructions doesn't really work depending on your iron-on, what you're using um, every day versus others. Uh, I find that it, it varies, so just play with it. Sometimes you can get it to stick in 10 or 15 seconds, and sometimes you need... 20 to 30 seconds to make it stick um, so just keep checking it and this I think the heat is going to make this glow guys so we'll see no, it didn't just kind of look that way so I'm just going to gently let it cool for a minute because it takes longer for your wood to cool down than it does your shirts and fabrics and things like that so you can actually pull it back up uh, if you peel it too quickly. So just go slow. And I have, that's not quite stuck right there. I'm just going to put that back down. And give it just another second. But you can see, now it's on. But you can see as you're doing that um, if it's stuck or not. And now let's put our witch on. And my carrier doesn't quite cover right there on that edge, so make sure that you're covering your area. And she'll probably stick because this is everyday iron on and my wood is already warm. She'll probably stick in just a few seconds. Not a lot of heating will be needed. I love this mini. This is so perfect for this especially all those little signs what about those little um dies the little four by four wood dies that you get at michael's um so you could do the uh yard yahtzee um or have i that tells me right there she did get my mat because I have a dog hair right there. But I guess it won't show when it's hanging up. How cute is that? Now this is going to glow and this is reflective for those who just joined. Great, great, great product. I love it. Can use it on wood. Can use it on short on uh, uh, shirts, fabrics, bags, shoes. Perfect for your kiddos so that they have reflective wear especially Halloween. Sometimes the glow in the dark after it's been out in the sun all day will glow for a while, but what if it stops glowing? That's always my fear. I, I don't know how long it will glow. Um, I've never tested that. So a little bit of reflective added in with the glow in the dark gives them two times the fun and two times the safety. So use it on your signs, use it on their buckets. Guys, you could put that on their buckets if their buckets can take the heat because I know a lot of you are using the fabric buckets and bags. So, good little, good little thing there for them. Yes, yes, those ornaments, perfect. Yes, Susan, it will. All the iron-ons will work on wood. All of them. Okay. Let me grab another little piece of my all messed up 
Teflon sheet just because I just want to show you guys how to let me sit this flat on the table instead of on my mat so it doesn't rock. Now I got this little bag from close to my heart and I wanted to kind of decorate it. Um, I earned that as a consultant but I know a lot of you have cosmetic bags and you're like can I put iron on on it will it melt? Well sometimes we have those plasticky like liners and yes they will melt. Um, you can insert a Teflon sheet to help protect it where you're doing your iron on so that it won't melt to the other side. I mean, because if it melts to this side, it's not really a big deal because you're not making your bag unus unusable. So you can do that. But this bag, however, and this is something that you should always check on all your bags, the liner pulls up. So I'm going to pull my liner up and not have to worry about it. So check that with all of your bags because you can put that liner back down in there. Okay? Now I don't have to worry about messing up my liner. And so I'm going to put my heart on there. And I'm doing two-tone. And I don't generally layer iron-on at all. I don't like the heaviness of it. But on a bag doesn't bother me. So on this bag I'm going to layer. Plus some of that on my second layer is so thin that I wanted it to show through and I didn't want, if I just put a strip behind what's on there, then you can see it. You'll see that it's got a square behind it. It'll take on that impression and I didn't want to do that. So I'm going to use my Cricut mat, and I believe since we're going on, I'm going to change my, this is Everyday Iron On, this is Turquoise and Mint, um, and I'll be honest, I don't know if this mint came from Happy Crafters, which we have a link in the uh, group files and the group rules for Happy Crafters and Happy Crafters Canada. I think this turquoise and this mint came from them, however, the turquoise this is the turquoise. I believe it's the same color because I got my color ring out from uh, Caesar. And the turquoise was the exact color. The mint was slightly off and it has a white back. So I think this came from Happy Crafters, both of them. But this is a Caesar turquoise. I know it's a Caesar turquoise. It was an exact match. So if you guys want these colors, that's what I would use. I wouldn't order for it. This wasn't off enough to make a big difference, but it was a slight difference. So the mint, Caesar mint and Caesar turquoise will work just fine. And this is a, I don't know, this is like a polyester blend. So I'm just going to pick polyester on this. And it says 25 seconds, preheat 25 seconds, my mini, medium. We're still on medium, so that's where we're going to stay. And I'm just going to press on this. And I know it says 25 seconds, but with bags and things like that, I tend to go 15 seconds and check it. And I'm basically wanting this first layer just to stick. I don't want to actually... Um, I don't want to heat it the whole time. I just want it to stick because it will shrink a little bit if you heat it the entire time and then your layers don't line up. So just enough to get it to stick down. You don't, if it's not sticking, you don't want that mat maybe a little bit of an issue because it's really thick. There we go. Just enough to stick. It's not completely adhered yet. We know this, so we're going to align. That way, oops, a little bit off. And now I'm going to heat it for the full time. Now this is where your actually your little baby press would come in fine. 
um, because the seams. You want to, um, your bigger press would, the seams would keep it from making a flat contact. So if you have the baby press, you could actually use it on something this size. But if you don't, if you have the big one and the mini's going to work for you on several projects, I just wanted to show that you could use it and, and do it in sections like I'm doing here. You just want to make sure that you cover everything and get it heated. You don't want to do an ironing motion. Uh, you want to just press down, just some light pressure, and press in sections. Right. Uh, generally, I would slice, but you saw how tiny some of those letters were in my design, which is my design thing that I did, that I liked it. So I'm like, uh, I'm going to layer this time. So I made one heart just a little bit smaller to go on the inside so that I could still get the look I wanted and not have that show. And then we're just going to peel it warm. I'm getting lots of transfer papers here. Let's get rid of those. And ta-da, no melted liner. So now I have my little bag. You can see that it's down, it's on there, it's not going anywhere. And one of the myths, and I have a little bit showing here, where you can see the imprint of the fabric texture. That means it's adhered. That's not always true, guys. Now on that first layer you can see it, but you can't see it through the second layer. If I had pressed the second layer until I could see the texture of the fabric under it, I have literally overpressed, probably deactivated my adhesive, and possibly even burned the the uh, iron on. So Caesar does have a video out that tells you what is what overheating will do and how it will look, and um, how much pressure is too much pressure because you can actually push the adhesive if you've ever done one and you see this clear shiny line on the outside of your iron-on that's overpressed you push the adhesive out that's the adhesive that you see when you see that so then we have koozies this is perfect for koozies guys i've got some other things coming up that you're going to want to see i think it's going to work i don't know it may be a fail but these are patterned iron-ons and a lot of times people say, you know, it, this is the Caesar, okay, made with Caesar Subly. And um, it's different from your Cricut. So with your Cricut, you mirror and you cut your transfer and it's on a transfer, you just flip it over like so. It's on the same kind of transfer paper and you just flip it over because it's, it's made that way. Caesar's is not made that way. It's made opposite, okay? You don't mirror. You cut it pretty side up with all of your patterns. They all come pretty side up. And you weed it. And then you use a transfer mask. And this is called Easy Mask. I bet I stuck my label inside. I did. This is Easy Mask right here. Okay. And I get this at Brilliant Vinyl as, as well. But it's just a clear, it is, if I can grab it, I know I just threw it over here. The transfer carrier I just peeled off of these iron-ons that I just did, those carriers, that's what this is. It's a carrier sheet. And I'm going to show you how it works. Now, do you have to have a carrier sheet? No, if you have a one-piece design like I have here, you can peel this off and then use this plastic over it and heat it or use your sheets, your Teflon sheets. I don't like to use this Cricut one because of the texture on pattern. Sometimes it comes out, so I do use my Teflon sheet for that. That's just personal preference. 
I don't like to peel mine like that because sometimes it might stretch it and it won't lay flat. But this is just a carrier. So all you're going to do is put it down, give it a rub just like you would with your vinyl, and then you're going to peel the cloudy backing off of it. Just like you would vinyl. I got a little bit of a wrinkle there. Hopefully I can get that out. Peel it slowly. Don't get out your wrinkles. There we go. And now it's just like regular iron-on. And you can iron it on. That's not straight. <clears throat> it's even upside down, April. I need a sip of coffee. I almost put it on upside down. Oh, thank you, Sue. Sue would have reminded me, too. <laughs> and that's how easy. But see, when you've got like words, you don't want to have to piece all of those letters together, so your mask comes in perfect for that. And we're just going to heat this for, I don't know, 10 to 15 seconds. It won't take long on this nylon for that to stick and adhere. Let it cool. And ta-da. Quick and easy and fast. Can you reuse it? Let's see. So a sheet of this will go a pretty long way and if you have your carrier from a piece of other you can use it too as long as you can get it to stick you can reuse it and I have a little bubble right there on my C I'm gonna in my E Got any little bubbles where you pulled it up, just straighten them out. Little bubbles. And then you're good to go. Should have lint rolled these. And again, I'm just going to go right on top of that carrier. And this mini is almost the exact same size as that. So guys, don't be scared to use the patterns. They're, they're a lot of fun. This one is the tie-dye from, and the tie-dye I think is in a couple of colors. This is the one that has the purple in it. Super easy to use. Just make sure that, this would be better on black, but I didn't get my black koozies. Well, I thought I didn't get them. I never hit complete my order, so I didn't get my black koozies. But that's what I had planned for these, both of these. So I'm using the white ones, and I'm going to live with them. On something like this, I just use, it's going to be personal preference, um, Susan. But a lot of the times, you, you're going to need a Teflon if you're layering and your carrier doesn't quite cover your whole design to keep from melting your design you're going to want to use your Teflon sheet over it to protect it but a lot of times when you're doing lower temp you can you iron straight onto the carrier without any issue it doesn't if you want to use the carrier just for extra protection you could do that it's not going to hurt anything not going to hurt anything at all and this is the Halloween, guys, that I'm using here. This is that pattern. Let's see if you guys can see it. And it's like a sepia. I wanted a um, Heather Brown t-shirt for this. And again, I, in my adventures yesterday, could not find one. I got. I know I bought them before, and I thought I had bought them at the store I went to, but I didn't. And 
Yeah, it's still sticking. I just didn't give it a good rub. But I'm still, I'm going to see if I can get all four of these with this one piece of carrier. And it's looking like two is going to be about max. It has sticky places in it, and then it has places that aren't sticky. So I'm just going to pull that one off. And I may not have rubbed it hard enough, but no need to fight it. Let's just grab another piece. I'll trim up my rough edges on this later. And I've got a cup, I've got another thing that I'm going to do over here, and hopefully it won't be a fail. I've not done it before. Well, I, I kind of have, but I haven't. Because you can iron on paper, in case you guys don't know that. So, I have a, it's not a, um, it's not cardstock, but uh, it just wants to be a booger. If I could get it started, might be able. Maybe it wasn't the other piece of transfer. Maybe it was me. Not burnishing hard enough, maybe. I don't burnish anything hard. I don't know why. I just don't. It, to me, it seems to got a little bit of a wrinkle there, but I think it'll come out. Oh well. We're just going to place it right there. And again, did I do that? It was off. There we go. I'm kind of lining up the chin portion with the base here. We're just going to press it. But you can see how the mini will cover this. So like for traveling guys, this will fit right into your totes. Right in there. I almost threw that carrier away thinking I wouldn't need it. because I pressed it on the mat. Get it started. Here we go. Ooh, look at there. I missed a piece weeding and it pulled it out. Yay! Oh, air bubbles. Uh, this one's not perfect, but I'm going to... You guys get the drift. I'm not going to put that one down because I've got a couple of wrinkles in it. I don't know if they'll smooth out. Let's see. This is a test. We're going to see if the wrinkles will smooth out if you have them on there. When you iron it. Or if it's noticeable. And I'm only pressing this for about three to five seconds because I don't have the Teflon cheat. I don't have um, anything to stop me. And then I can press this more later if it looks like it's not going to stay. But it looks adhered. And that wrinkles did come out. Cool. It didn't wrinkle it. So if you've got a little wrinkle in there, you don't have to worry about it. They do come out. How cool was that? So now that's koozies and using patterned iron on an easy mask. Next, I have this box that I got at Kohl's. It's a Hallmark box. 
and I thought how cool would this be to make this a gift box for Christmas and it comes with the little shreds inside I'm just gonna take those out and set them to the side and the reason I bought this box rather than making one is because I got it for like four bucks and I it would cost me that in chipboard and time to make it and you can even iron on to the ribbons they're made in I'm just gonna tie them up out of my way but I cut some of the mosaic and we know that this has a double carrier so we're I'm hoping this doesn't fail again so we're gonna try this I'm gonna have to stand up for this one and I'm gonna try to keep it in focus for you guys it may go in and out of focus if it does I apologize I'm gonna place that that's not straight I'm just eyeballing it hopefully it's centered so I have that on there and I'm going to check yeah this is this bow is in design space it's in two colors in a red and a dark red I believe and I just changed it all to gold and welded it together so it is in there uh, I will look it up and get you guys the design number if you want it just let me know because all I have to do is open the project I saved it in there and I can tell you I've got uploads in there it's one of my trash files that I do a lot of stuff in so if you want it just let me know let's go with the mini and I am going to select mosaic is in there I'm going to select it and I'm going to go to hmm, we have faux leather cotton corkboard chipboard I'm going to go with chipboard and it says it's not recommended. <laughs> what about cardstock? Cardstock, it says medium 25 seconds. So I'm going to stay on medium. I am going to cover it with a Teflon sheet. I love the mosaic, but it, it, it is a challenge to work with. And it's because of the double carrier, I think, more than anything. But working on we um, I found out that it cold pill worked better on fabric I don't know about this we're gonna find out because I figured if this messes up I can do two things I can fix it or I can cover it with a bunch of pretty flowers and nobody will ever know so I won't lose my box. I could throw a bunch of points at it on top of that and nobody would ever be the wiser. And here's the challenge, getting that top carrier. left a little residue but maybe that'll go away see there's another carrier on there and you know what guys because this is a box I don't know maybe should I leave it or peel it I think I'll peel it but I'm gonna heat it for a few more seconds And you're not supposed to go in an ironing motion, I know. But I am just reheating those dots. A stray dot right there. Which a name tag will cover perfectly fine. There it goes, I got it off. So it says to warm peel it. And of course I've lost my good tweezers. Well, not lost. Misplaced.
but we found on fabric that cold pill was better. Yeah, I got a dot right there that needs to be ironed down. I got a dot that doesn't want to stick. right there which the adhesive seems to be rolling right up there we go I'm not gonna make you guys watch me peel each and every one of these I, I really am not oh, wrong one. That's pretty, guys. Yeah, the cool. It seems like the cooler it is, the easier it is, Jamie. Um, I think that that direction on warm peel might be. I mean, I don't know. They, I know that they, they did hundreds of tests, but I know three times I've had three fails. Uh, one, one was saved because I cold peeled, and. So maybe I can let you guys watch me peel this. This is cold and it's working fine. I have a dot lifted up right there. But I did it with the spatula knot. Guys, this spatula is awesome. Awesome, awesome. It is a Stampin' Up! tool. If you want a link, you need a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Amanda Nehemiah in our group is a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, a patron, and a Kofi supporter. Cold Peel. I'm just going to say Cold Peel. I know that the directions on the site say Warm Peel, but you see when I Warm Peeled it, I was losing that dot. Like, oops, that, well, I lost that one in Cold Peel, too, so maybe I just missed that one. I'm just going to put it back down. But I'm having less trouble with the cold peel. I lost two half dots right there, but they're half dots. that heating them too. Yeah. They don't like they don't like the warm at all. It came up just half dots with the cold peel, but the warm peel it just won't even try to stick. It's still trying to pull up and it's still warm. about that quarter of a dot there. Got one little dot right there it needs to be heated. Pretty. What do you 
you guys think? How pretty is that going to be on cardstock on a card? Uh, oh, the possibilities. I love it. It's on there. It's not going anywhere. So, now we've done a sign. Oops, I did lose that one dot. I'm going to put that one dot back. I'll do it in just a moment. So, that's pretty. And my last one, which is one of the most challenging for many, and I don't know if Sue B is here, but we're going to send this off to her because she is such a Snoopy fan. So I bought this to donate to charity um, from Kohl's. You can get these guys at Kohl's, and it goes to charity. Five bucks. They have them this year. So I'm going to send this off to our moderator who is... A Snoopy fan and let me grab that cardstock I mean cardstock my iron-on for this and I'm using strip flock pro for those of you who do not know what strip flock pro is it is a very this is it's very soft like a velvety suede velvet whatever you might want to call it it's softer than felt but it's not like velvet but it's perfect for kids toys and clothes um, and we're going to be using that on this it weeds like a dream guys i mean you're going to see look how thin those lines are i mean super 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 thin and it weeded perfectly i didn't have to fight it didn't lose any pieces nothing ripped nothing tore but your mini is going to be perfect for these and again i am not going to protect that with my well, yes i am i'm going to protect with a teflon sheet uh, test in an inconspicuous spot doesn't appear to be melting so but just to keep that pile from being messed up, I'm just going to protect it with a Teflon sheet. And let's check on... Let me go to Caesar. And in case you guys didn't know, Caesar, and I've got it in the group files for you, if you want to download it, if you don't, CaesarNA.com. That's CaesarNorthAmerica.com. Let me take you over there and show you. When you go on CaesarNA.com, on your HTV, you can drop down, and down at the bottom, you've got application instructions, or you can go to the individual um, product. So if you don't want to search, let me just show you what those app instructions look like. You can go through here and search. It tells you uh, how to do it with a home iron, how to do it with a heat press or your easy press, how to launder it, um, all of that. Everything is right here, okay? It tells you to cut it in reverse and all of those things. Let me just go back. Or you can go down to the product itself, which this is Strip Block Pro going to select it. Strip Flock Pro can be layered on top of itself. It's not like glitter where you can't put glitter on glitter, nothing on top of glitter. This You can layer up your Strip Flock Pro. There's all the colors that it comes in. Cutter settings. It tells you what you need to set it on, which is Iron On Plus. Um, tells you if you're a silhouette or a scan and cut user all of that then you have the application instructions and it's the saying uh, apply it at 311 uh, preheat the garment for two to three seconds um, which is a, I can do that on this one but I'm not gonna <laughs> I don't I, I preheat sometimes but uh, it depends on something like this I don't like to put too much heat to it so I'm not gonna preheat it and then your recommended accessories and it tells you to use a heat transfer cover sheet okay 
So it tells you everything. You can put it on cotton, blends, polyester, leather, how to launder it. Everything is there for you guys. So let's go back over, and I will. I'll go ahead and do it according to the directions instead of the way I normally do. Uh, let's get back over to the array cam. So you're going to, I'm just going to pull that up, and we're just going to preheat for a few seconds. Now we're going to line that up, and it's at the shoulders on both, right down the center there, and then we're going to put 311, I believe that's going to be the high setting on our Easy Press. So I'm going to go back over to the Easy Press guide. say I am. Maybe I am. And I did put that on high because it said 311. 400 is high. Okay, so. Thank you, Sue. Mini press. And I'm going to go with Trying to think of one that is at that same temp. Pick holographic. Holographic is 320? Is that what it is? That's pretty close. But with time, you guys, you can, um, you'll figure out how much time you need for it to adhere and how much pressure. It, it, it just takes time and practice. Press the other side. So how perfect is that for things like this? I have been checking the Dollar, Gen, uh, Dollar Tree daily. I have not checked today yet for elves, guys, because they're usually on sale by now, and I have not found them this year yet. So if you're one to be doing elves, you want to make sure that you're checking daily for when they go on sale so you can order them and get them shipped to your house because usually they'll have $4.95 shipping or free shipping. I'm just going to peel. And you want to peel slowly because this has a little bit of a pile on it, but not much. How cute. And it's on there. And now I'm going to preheat right here. And we have our little bitty wood stock going right there. And I did this so when he's sitting down, it looks like he's standing on his leg. So we're going to put wood stock right there. I'm going to protect it. Yes, like a little heating pad for his belly. I am in love with this little mini. Guys, I'm serious. I could stick this in my purse to go to a crop or whatever, any fair or show that you're doing. Little to no space. I'm just going to peel. We've got our little wood stock. Now we need our lines. While it's still warm. How stinking cute is this? And I did make the uh, Woodstock SVG. If you need it, it is for personal use, and I will put it up on the free SVGs. You cannot sell items with him on there. I don't think I got his nose.
of 15 seconds. Ooh, I got him a little bit off. He slid, but Sue, I don't think you'll mind. He's still so stinking cute. He slid right there, but that's all right. And then I wanted his heart to be right there. How cute. So if you guys want this design, the free hugs is the peanuts font. I've had it. I don't know where I got it, but you can search peanuts font. You could probably find it. Um, and then the hearts are from Design Space. The hands holding the heart, I just did away with the background layers of the hands and used the heart itself. How stinking cute is that? And it's all nice and soft, no plasticky feels, none of that stuff. He's on there. Yeah, you can use the Teflon sheets over and over and over. You can cut them down. You can use them for inking, for cardstock, for iron-on. So you get like three sheets for seven bucks, and you and they're big sheets. You can cut them down. Dedicate one to your iron-ons and use the others for other crafts, glues, paints, all that stuff. So guys, for a little bit of Strip Flock Pro, $5 to charity at your local Kohl's, you got a cute little gift. How, how stinking cute is he? So when he's sitting down, it looks like he's standing on his leg. How cute. right so very nice you guys run out and and grab a couple of these for christmas gifts or whatever donate to charity you could even make a few of these and take to maybe a children's hospital for christmas donations great job all right so we've done the iron on and i'm just going to stick that dot down before i lose it because we know me I will lose it oh and if you were watching yesterday and you know that I lost my die I just want to let you guys know that I found it well wow. and I had it in my hand on the video under my close to my heart scan it stuck to the magnet that was on the back of that yeah it did There we go. So we've done on paper or cardstock, same thing, chipboard. You can do iron on. We've done animals. I'm going to turn this guy off. And we have done bags. We've done a sign where it wouldn't fit. And we have done koozies. So there are so many ways that you can use that little mini press, especially on all of your odd shaped items. Now, a couple of these we could have used our small one, but if you don't have the small one, you have the great big one. The great big one might crush this box. So, you know, the mini will work for that. It'll work on all your odd shaped stuff where the other presses won't fit. So awesome, awesome deal. And if you use the, you can't use the group code on it, but if you have access, you're going to save 10%. So you get it for 62 bucks. Yeah, that was a lot in an hour. And I mean, we've basically been playing and, and going back and forth. We weren't rushing anything. But last night, it took me probably maybe 30 minutes to cut everything. I, I was up late just designing, figuring out what I wanted to do. So, um, but yeah, you could do all of those projects probably in about two, two and a half hours, weeding and everything. 
if you have your designs laid out. So does anybody have any questions? Any mini questions that we can answer? That was a little play on words. Mini questions or mini questions? <laughs> He, isn't he adorable? Just adorable. And you can also, guys, you can put dates or names on the feet. You can put birth announcements on the ears. So, so many things that you can do with this guy. Lots of things. And they, they have more than Snoopy's too. They have Charlie Brown. I don't even remember what all they had. But I just saw the Snoopy and I said, ah, that's it. Since I can't find the shoes, that'll work. <laughs> so. All right. I appreciate you guys joining me on your Saturday. Go out, your local Kohl's, grab you one of these, show your designs, do what you want to do. I will put this on the free SVG tab. I will add this to the SVG and the peanuts so that if you can't find the peanuts font, you'll have the free hugs. I will put that in the file too. The hearts, you can get any hearts and add in there from and size them three different sizes. This is all you have to do. So use your favorite heart out of Design Space. You're welcome, Sue. All right. You guys have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you, moderators. Thank you, patron supporters. I will see you t uh, Monday, 7 p.m. Exclusive files are going to be available for supporters. So I'll see you then, 7 p.m. Y'all have a great day. Have a good weekend.